Are you wondering how to do a VLOOKUP in Smartsheet? Well today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to set up a VLOOKUP, how it works and some tips and tricks along the way. So I've created a brand new folder for this tutorial and what we've got at the moment is two completely blank sheets. So I've got an original data sheet, so that's where the data is going to be. And I have a secondary sheet, which is where I want to basically pull the data into. So when you're working in Smartsheet and doing this yourself, you have to kind of imagine that you've got those two, two sheets in place. Maybe you need to create one. Um, but I'll be showing you how you can also do a VLOOKUP from the, in the same sheet if you needed to later. But look, chances are uh, you want to pull it into a different sheet. So I've got no data here, so I'm going to start completely from scratch just to show you how it all kind of works. So first and foremost, I'm going to set up the data sheet. So for this, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to put in some dummy data. So in the primary column, I'm going to change this to, so I've right clicked here, edit column properties. I'm just going to call this fruit and we're going to put in here apples, bananas, pears and grapes. In here, we'll put quantity. Let's just say we've, if I can spell, let's just say uh, we've, we've got a store that sells fruit uh, and we've got 15 bananas. You think I'm gonna put 20 now, don't you? But I'm gonna put 10 and we'll put five grapes. That's five bunches of grapes, not five individual grapes. That would be, be quite disappointing. So we've got fruit quantity, let's call it price. Um, I don't know, let's put this as 0 0.25. And I don't want to waste too much of your time here. So it's all going to cost, you know, pound and I'll do this as 75. And I'm just going to quickly change this to, so edit column properties. I'm going to change this to a symbol. No, what am I doing? Sorry, I want to change this to currency. It will put it in, in dollars. Um, that's all we're going to do for now. I'm going to delete these columns just to avoid any confusion. So I've held, held shift there, selected both columns and I'm going to delete those. Save it, never forget to save. So this is our data column. So assuming you've got something similar, now you want to pull this into another sheet. So I'm gonna go into that sheet now, which is the secondary sheet. So the return value, um, let's put the search criteria in here as an example. So I'm gonna put in here, um, what did we have? What fruit? We had banana, we had pears, not in this order. We had apples and grapes. So. When it comes to doing a VLOOKUP, it's very similar to Excel. Maybe you've used Excel before, maybe you haven't, but it always, a formula in Smartsheet, they're also known as functions, by the way, just be aware of that terminology. It always starts with equals, so same as Excel. So equals VLOOKUP. Now you can always click the learn more button. That's gonna give, um, you know, Smartsheet's overview of, of what the function does and how it kind of works. And you can press, um, the I button as well, I think that's clickable. But anyway, what you're gonna to need to do is type equals V lookup, open parenthesis, and then it's gonna give you this. So this is basically the what you need to do. So you need to build this formula out. So the search value. So in this case, I want to search on the term banana. And as I've added it in here, I can click it. So what this is basically saying is, can you, can you look up for this particular text? And then I'm gonna specify where. Alternatively, we didn't actually have to have this in here, but I just wanted to show you that that's an option. If you did quotes, you can basically search for a specific text string. So you can basically search via what's in a cell or via a text string, just for your information. There's two ways of doing it. Um, I like to do, or in the purpose of this demo, I'm just gonna use the exact row itself. And I'll show you why in a moment. There's a benefit of doing that. So comma, so that's the first part of the formula. Second, the lookup table. So where are we asking the, the, the formula to look? So in this instance, it's gonna be another sheet, but it could be within the same sheet. Um, but yeah, as I say, we want to go back to the original data sheet. So reference another sheet. Now I've already selected original data sheet, or well, it's the only sheet I've got in this account. So it's, it's putting me there by default. So what does it want me, you know, where's it looking for this information? Now you can collect, you can select one column, which is great if you just want to pull in, you know, what's in that specific column, or you can select multiple columns. So what I'm going to do doing here is left clicking on my mouse and I'm dragging across. No, I'm not, apologies. 
I'm holding shift, the shift button on my keyboard, holding that down and left clicking on each column. And that's basically selected the whole range. Okay. Now what we do here is I'm going to rename the reference. So let's say this is original data sheet, um, all columns, but you could call this anything you like. So just, that's just a reference so that when you build the formula out, you know what you are referencing. Click the insert reference button at the bottom. Now you'll notice where my kind of cursor is there. You need to be careful because you need to basically press right on your keyboard. You need to make sure that you keep that kind of as a separate unit and you need to do a comma after. So if you were to do a comma here, this, this formula won't work. So you do actually have to do that. You know, you have to move it. And, and that's, that's a lot where a lot of people go wrong, unfortunately. It's a bit of a bug in Smartsheet, but that's just the way it is. We have to work around that. So put a comma here. So column number. So you saw me reference three different columns there. So basically my options are, my column numbers could be one, two, or three. So if I put one, we're gonna get whatever's in the first column two, what's in the second column, and three in the, th in the third column. So let us quickly just put all those in and see what we get. So if I put one, and remember, we need to just finish off the formula first quickly. So comma, and remember, always finish with false. Always finish with false, because you want to return wh what that, you know, what's in that cell. If, if you wanted something to display slightly differently, then you'd put, you know, true. But that's a, that's a topic for another time. Always use false. So this is our completed VLOOKUP formula. So if I hit return, we should be seeing whatever fruit is in column B1, basically, column and cell B1. No match. Well, we can't find it. So we have to basically look into why that is. So it can't. it's because we have bananas in the fruit section column here. And I've put banana here. So you know what, this is not, I, I'd, I'd normally cut off the video here and I'd, I'd redo this and make sure it's perfect. But I think in this instance, it shows why a formula cannot work. So it's actually a good example. So if I was to change this to bananas, you'll see the no match update there. Bananas, exactly. So that's something to consider. And that's a good, good kind of learning opportunity there. When it comes to formulas, you need to make sure that your data is exact between each data sheet, or otherwise it won't work. You'll get this no match. So you'll see, you'll see, you know, that's where the issue was. Maybe you, you identified that earlier, and if you did, well done. Now, you saw me put one, uh, that's the column number. As I say, we can pull in different data. So for instance, we could pull in the price, 15. Or alternatively, or sorry, I think that was the quantity. That was the quantity. I'm making all sorts of mistakes in this video. Two is the quantity, and I believe column three was the price. So if I put column three, we've got the price come through. So you can see how it basically works. What you're doing is you're building out this four aspects to a VLOOKUP. You're basically saying, where do you, you know, what do you want to, to, what text string, or you know, what are you looking to search? Where do you want to search it? And what column do you want to pull back from the reference that you specified? So that is really how to do it. And if, if I hit save now, and if I go back into the original data sheet, and make some changes. So it, it, bought, it brought 0 0.25 or 25 cents through. If I change this to $5, for instance, and go back and go into the secondary sheet, you'll see that it's changed to five. So uh, no, it hasn't. <laughs> Again, what is happening here? I think this is because, excuse me, I need to convert the currency. So if I put currency and I think it's the order, it's the order, isn't it? But Apple's, see, I'm getting confused. Again, this should be five and that's gonna be five. So we got there in the end, five, there we go. So yeah, little few tips there as well. You know, make sure all your data's aligned in terms of what you're looking for. You know, make sure, you know, I've made this complicated for myself because I put the fruit in different orders in both sheets, but you generally get the idea. Um, one other quick thing, um, just to show you, if you wanted to pull in, you know, wanted to do a V lookup within the same sheets, not probably likely, um, but it, you know, it might be a use case for you. You know, when you're building out your VLOOKUP, let's just put, let's just start it here. Let's assume, let's assume the data's down here. Let's say we wanted to pull this information over to 
to this column for whatever reason, let's just assume that that's what we need to do. You would literally do equals VLOOKUP, the search value would be, well, it's gonna be um, $5 in this instance, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna select that as the, 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 you know, the search value. The lookup table would then be, because we're not referencing another sheet, it would be this kind of section here. So I've basically left click on the cell and dragged it down. So that's basically the reference. Again, one column because it's from that particular column and then we're gonna false as well. And that's it, it brings back the five. And one last one last tip is, you know, this is in this is in a, a currency formatting. You'll notice that when I did the VLOOKUP, it didn't pull the currency through. So just bear that in mind. You would need to, to kind of change the formatting when it comes to the, the, the pulled back value. So I hope this video is useful. Apologies for all those mistakes, but as I say, I hope this has actually helped you because I'm sure you're encountering issues yourself. That's probably why you're here. If this was valuable, please hit the like button. That tells me I should continue creating videos like this. And do consider subscribing as well. I've got a lot of different videos on Smartsheet on my channel, and I'll be releasing a lot more. Plus, as the name of my channel suggests, this is all about project management. So if you're, in, you're a project manager or in, interested in project management material, then the videos that are coming out as well in due course will be useful. So with that said, I hope you have an excellent day.